Question 17. Write these numbers in order, starting with the smallest. Now, the first thing you can see straight away is that three of the numbers begin with an 8 point something. So 8 point, 8 point, 8 point, and two of them begin with 1 point something. So the 1 point something numbers must be smaller than the 8 point something numbers. So we're looking at these two first. Now the next thing to notice is that this one's only got one digit after the decimal point, whereas this one's got two digits after the decimal point. So let's even it up and make this one have two digits after the decimal point by putting in a zero. Because remember, 1.8 is the same as 1.80. Now if you think about money, £1.28 would be smaller than £1.80, so 1.28 is smaller than 1.80. So 1.28 is the smallest one. So that's that one gone. Cross it off once you're done with it. Then obviously the only other number beginning with a 1 is 1.80 or 1.8. So we can just pop that in. We might as well just put the original number in, 1.8. Now we're down to the, the numbers that begin with 8 point something. So we've got a real mixed bag here. This one's only got one digit after the point. This one's got two digits after the point. This one's got three digits after the point. Let's make them all have three digits after the point, and then it'll be a lot easier to compare. So this one's already got three digits. This one, if we put two zeros on the end, it's now got three digits after the point. This one, if we put one zero on the end, it's now got three digits after the point. So now we can, they all begin with an eight. So now we can just look at the digits after the point. So this one says 0 0.120, 0 0.118, 0 0.118. 200. You shouldn't really say 0.120 or 0.118 or 0.200, but it might actually help you to realise which one is smaller in this case. So 118 is smaller than 120 and 200, so this one must be the next smallest one. Let's just cross off the 1.8 first so we know we've done with it. So 8.118 is the next smallest. Then we've got 8.120, because 120 is smaller than 200. And then we've got 8.200. And that's the last one. In the answer box, we shouldn't really have written the extra zeros on, because we didn't really need those in the first place. They were just there to help us compare. So we should really just get rid of those extra zeros that we put on.